This project is supported by Rockler Woodworking and Hardware. Create with confidence. And water locks. Water locks lets wood be beautiful since 1910. This week I upcycled a set of old stacking tables and I used sapili wood to make the tops. I'm using sapili not only because it has a beautiful grain, but it's also a very stable wood and a good choice for exterior projects. The first step in this project is going to be to join two boards together to make the tops wide enough. I'm using a 1x8 and a 1x6. And if you're not familiar with the measurements of dimensional lumber or S4S lumber, which stands for surface on four sides, a 1x8 will measure 3 quarters of an inch by 7 and a quarter inches, and a 1x6 will measure 3 quarters of an inch by 5 and a half inches. The first step in this project is to join the two boards together. I get started by cutting the boards to a rough length, about an inch heavy. I'm using biscuits to join the boards. The biscuits don't really add any strength to the glue joint, but they help align the boards and that makes for less sanding. To clamp the boards up, I'm using the short foot clamps by Rockler. I'll use two clamps at the bottom. And for the top clamp, I'm using wooden shims to keep the clamp off the surface of the boards. And this makes it easy to clean up the glue squeeze out with a wet rag. Okay, well it's been a little more than two hours. I'll unclamp the boards and cut them to width using the table saw, and then I'll use the cross-cut sled on the table saw to cut the boards to length. Now I'm using the table saw to make a rabbit joint in the bottom of the tops. This will allow the tops to drop into the metal frame. After cutting the rabbit joint in the bottoms of the tabletops, I gave all the tops a good sanding and now I'm finally ready for finish. I'm using the Waterlocks Marine System. This is a two-part system that starts with the sealer. I'll seal all sides of the board, including the edge, brushing in the direction of the grain with a natural bristle brush. It's been two days and I've got two coats on all the tops. The first coat was the sealer. I allowed that to dry overnight. The next day I applied a coat of the finish and I didn't sand in between coats. You don't need to sand in between coats with water locks. But before I apply the last coat of finish, I am going to give the tops a light sanding. Like I said, you don't have to do this, but it's something I've always done and I do think you get a better finish. So I'll lightly sand the tops with 320 sandpaper, remove any dust, and then apply the final coat.
Okay, well, I'm really happy with the way these turned out. They weren't a ton of work and it's just kind of a major payoff on upcycling projects like this because like I said, they're not a lot of work and they look great, I think. So a few things I wanted to talk about that I kind of glazed over during the video. Number one, finishing the metal. I first hit the metal with a wire brush, removing any of the uh, loose paint or rust, uh, loose rust. And then I used a rusty metal primer and then I used spray paint, some spray paint that I had in the barn here. The Sapili tops, when I was finishing them, I used something called nailers. And that's the little blocks of wood with screws going up through them. If you're not familiar with them, they're super handy. And it's basically a piece of three quarter inch wood with an inch and five eighths screw. And I like to drill and, and countersink the head of the screw so the bottom of the wood is flat. And it's one of those things, if you've got kind of a down day, go ahead and make some nailers because you'll always use them. That's what I call them, nailers. Um, also the finish, I used the Waterlocks Marine System and the manufacturer calls for one coat of sealer and two coats of finish. I used three coats of finish. Uh, I just, I always end up going kind of the extra mile with finish and, and using one more coat. And I also like to apply several thin coats as opposed to few thick coats. I think you get a better finish that way. And lastly, I want to mention my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I hope you'll check it out. I like to post updates on projects, uh, the progress on the week's pro projects, and also uh, helpful hints. So this week when I was picking the Sapili for the tops here, I came across a board with sticker stain. And if, what that is, is when the wood is drying, if they use wet sticks between the boards, you'll get a sticker stain on the board, and that's a board that you want to avoid because you'll never be able to sand those stains out. And those are the kind of things that I like to post on my Instagram. So I hope you'll check that out. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.